Okay, so I just got home from work and I've got a bit of success with this trap that I made. I'm getting a lot of mice coming through the shop. They're coming in looking for a warm place. This video is only going to be about three minutes long and it's worth the watch. It's a $3 mouse trap. It cost me like $2.50 for the pail at Home Depot and you know another $0.50 cents for supplies and it is a very successful mouse trap. Um, it's a trap that keeps on giving. You'll probably, if you have lots of mice, you'll probably see up to five or six mice in a night in this trap. Um, the second one is, and this one comes from my dad who, who found, he found this on the internet, but he swears by this. But enough rambling, let's go back in time and show you how it's all done. Now your first step, you're obviously gonna need a pail. Next, you're gonna grab some side cutters and I didn't have any handy, so I grabbed an angle grinder, same difference, and cut off the handle just below where it connects. Remove the nub if it's still in there. And next, you're going to need to drill a hole the same size as the handle wire on each side of the pail, conveniently just above where the handle was. Next, you're going to straighten the handle. The straighter you get this, the easier it's going to be later, so take the time now to get it as straight as you can. Now, I know it's looking pretty simple so far, but just stay tuned because there's a couple little tricks in here you might need to know. Now's a good time to hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit that already. Also, when this video is done, you might want to check out some of the other videos. There's a lot more intricate videos and more entertaining than this. But back to the project. It's pretty simple. Now you're just going to drill a hole through either center of the pop bottle and then feed this through. This bottle needs to spin because as the mouse jumps on it, he's going to fall off into the pail. Now I'm just bending this around in a circle because the ends are sharp. But the rest of it, you just got to bend to 90 degrees on both sides and you're off to the races. Now I know what you're thinking. It's peanut butter. It's pretty easy to put on. And it is. However, you want to get this on nice and smooth so that it's somewhat not lopsided. Because the idea of this whole thing is, is he jumps on and then he rolls into the pail. Now you just got to find a corner of the shop that's out of the way and then put a little ramp up to the end of the bottle so he can run up the end of the ramp, climb onto the bottle, fully commit, and then he's in the pail. Now onto the method that my dad swears by. Now, I went out and I got some peppermint essential oils, and this is more of a deterrent method to keep the mice away rather than kill them. I kind of like this idea a bit. And then we're gonna dump a bunch in there. I don't remember if it's 20 or 30 drops, but a little bit goes a lot ways, or a lot goes a little ways, or, or something like that. And all we gotta do is fill it up, and then we're off to the races. Now for the application process. You're gonna wanna stick around for this, because this is a super technical ap application process. Okay, it's maybe not quite that technical, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wander around and you're gonna spray every entry point to your shop. Now, the little pesky little critters are gonna come in some small entry points that you might not expect as well through like cracks in the, say through like a wall plug or something like that. So I just went around and I sprayed every little bit I could and my shop smells pretty good right now. So, if you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and also check out some of my other videos I got coming down the pipe.